Hello everyone, this is Abhishek Bagherwal. Welcome to Salesforce. In this video, we are gonna see how to create a segment in Salesforce Data Cloud. As you can see, I am on the list view of segments. So let's begin with creating a new segment. So I would just click on new and I'm going to segment on the unified individual data model object and I'm just going to give it a name as NTO use case and I'm just going to keep it the publish schedule as don't refresh and I'm just going to save it. Once you have saved the segment, it will take you to the console of the segment where on the left side you can see the attributes whether these are direct attributes or related attributes and on the right side you can see a pan in which you would be dragging and dropping the attributes to create the filter criteria. And on the top you can see the current population of this unified individual object. Once we starting uh, to put the criteria, the population would uh, is going to change it it is going to decrease or it is going to remain the same if the uh, records are filtered out or not okay so let's begin with uh, uh, putting some conditions over here so on the attribute side i'm just going to search for the loyalty point balance and i'm just going to drag and drop it over here and i'm just to making the condition as is greater than that the value is 50 Okay, so first condition is loyalty point balance is greater than 50. Click done. Now let's try to put more conditions over here. So here I'm just going to search for the engagement channel action. So that is not the direct attribute as you can see. It is a related attributes and I'm just going to select the engagement channel action and drag and drop it over here. Now this is the email engagement. So let me just explain you what uh, it is talking about. So first uh, column, the first uh, header, not column, first header as you are seeing here. So it is about the aggregation that is based on the count and operator is at least one. So that means whatever we are going to put the conditions below here, if they are going to give at least one record, then it would be true then that record would go further along with the loyalty point balance check okay now let's begin with uh, putting the conditions over here so i'm saying that uh, engagement channel action is equal to or first of all count at least uh, count uh, <coughs> at least one and then engagement channel action contains the value as open so what what does that mean that means that uh, on the email engagement when when an email has been sent out to a customer the customer has opened that email that is basically means that now we are going to add one more attribute over here so i'm just going to remove this and uh, i'm just going to use the en engagement date time from the email engagement itself again so this uh, i'm giving as the last number of days as 60 so now now let's see what uh, this criteria means so it means in the last two months if a customer or if a end user has opened your email and that count at least to one email when we are saying at least one here on the count that means it is possible that you might have sent 10 emails in last two months and uh, the customer has opened one email or more than one email then it he is going to be qualified for this criteria as well as if it is if he his loyalty point balance is greater than 50 then he would be part of the population of this segment okay once that is done just click done so this is our criteria basically now let's save it so as you can see it is saved now we are going to also we are going to create the activation on this segment as i uh, discussed earlier in one of my videos that uh, until unless you are you have not created or you have not activated your segment it is of no use it would just uh, sit in the data cloud itself and one more point here to see that you can see now the population count has been changed to 572 that means it has filtered out lots of lots of records on the 572 uh, customers are there which have opened the 
email at least one email in last two months and having loyalty point balance is greater than 50. Now let's move on to another exercise that is how you can activate your segment. So currently I am on the segment. You can see the segment population. Now let's click on the publish now. So once your segment is published, now the activation process can you can start the activation process. So to do that, I'm just going to go to the activations tab and I'm just going to click new. So first of all, we need to select a segment on which of which we are going to do the activation for. So here our active uh, our segment name is NTO use case. So I'm just going to select that and click next. Now we need to define the activation target. That is basically mean for which end source or for which target source you want this segment to activate to be activated so i'm just going to select over here marketing cloud bundle and i'm going to make it activate upon unified individual because that is basically the uh, data model object upon which our segment is filled uh, is uh, is basically we have defined so i'm just going to click next on this screen you can select the contact point so as you can see the email address is already selected why is that because marketing cloud is majorly about the email and sms if you are going to send this active send this segment for uh, sms activity then you would be needing the phone number or that would be automatically selected but for this purpose we need the email address that is mandatory thing so that is why it is automatically selected and as you can see over here the path is also given for this email from where this email has come so as you can see here contact point email is the data model object from where this email has come so if i just show you one of the uh, charts that we have discussed earlier so here you can see the contact point email has the relationship with the individual object and it is one to many relationship and uh, on the contact point email that is one uh, attribute as party that is basically relating to the individual so that path only given here on the contact point email a party field is connected to the unified individual individual id okay now if you want to add additional attributes you can uh, select additional attributes attributes from here so i'm just uh, going to select uh, first name so i'm just going to drag it and drop it here then i'm going to select uh, loyalty point balance okay just click next now let's give it a name and to use case and let's save it so that is our activation is created so that is how basically you can create your segments and you can activate those segments and make it them available to be used at the targets by activating them using the activation and activation targets features provided in salesforce data cloud so that's all we are going to discuss in this video thanks for watching